month. It's really important for all of us to celebrate our team members, making sure that they're prioritizing their health. And we're going to get started watching the game in just a few moments. But before we head off, I do want to point out that Tuesday, November 8th, we are going to be celebrating DJ Mario's birthday party at the Hexagon Lounge in Harlem, New York. You can take the A train straight there. It's a little bit of a walk, but I promise you, you can come and join us. There will be live music, performances, the drinks are off the roof, and definitely worth celebrating. Cheers to DJ Mario. If you also want to hire us for an event, I'm your nice man. Cortez, right? Yes. Anything you want to say about the shirt? Are you a survivor? No. This is my best friend, Wendy Cortez. She passed away. And it's going to be four years on November 10th. Um, my best thing. She's barely missed, huh? Yes. I can imagine so. Yeah. Thank you, level three. Can you say all cancer matters? One, two, three. All cancer, cancer matters. Matter. Okay, now you get your turn. So you fight oh. yourself. One, three. One, two, three. See, you get this moment. You gonna take your moment. Ah, no, one, two, three. All cancer matters. Right. One, two, three. All cancer matters. And we by yourself. One, two, three. All cancer matters. Thank you. On three, you're going to say all cancer matters, okay? One, two, three. All cancer matters. On three, one, two, three. All cancer matters. Thank you. All, all cancer, cancer matters. matters. One, two, three. All cancer matters. Thank you. One. All cancer matters! <laughs> Oh, 
with Humana. This is Monica. Thank you, Monica, for coming out, representing Humana, your insurance company. What information can you give us today and what are you out today? Um, we are a Medicare, a Medicare plan. We've been in the, in the market for about 65 years. We started in Kentucky, um, in a little uh, nursing home. Uh, the owner decided that um, they needed a lot, that our seniors are a big part of our community and a very important one. And that sometimes they lack of um, information towards what their choices are. So they decided to create this wonderful company, which is a PPO, which means a preferred uh, provider. You can go to any provider that you want. We are in all 51 states. Um, 
including Puerto Rico. So if you travel, you can always find a doctor with us. We have wonderful um, programs, including a, a heal doctor that can come to your home. If you cannot go to any other um, doctor, you want somebody to come to your home, they will. Uh, we also have... Um, so you say, you're saying that people have lack of uh, information or insurance information for Medicare patients, for seniors? Yes, for seniors. We work with seniors mainly. Well, and quickly tell the folks out there how they can contact you or con contact commanders so they can get the proper information. They can always call us at or 800 numbers or they can call me directly at 917-324-2418. Um, we can, we, you can also go to one of our uh, offices. I know we have one in Brooklyn, in Flatbush Avenue, in Flatbush and Nostrum. Um, we don't, uh, we are in the Bronx. We usually all over the state of New York. So then we you set up stations for people to we come to We set up you? stations. We have um, RVs. We can go to your home if you are not able to come out. We go to you. So in other words, let's pick up on the bags here. Look for this sign, Humana, Green Humana. So if you see that, this is the place to go for insurance information. Everybody needs insurance, okay? That's very good. But thank you so much for thank coming you. out and sharing with us and being part of this event today. Thank you so much for having us. It was a great event. Great. Thank, thank you. Like thank you, William, for, for doing this. Thank Wait, you. Wait, hey, you. Yes, thank you're you. doing I'm a great sorry. thing here. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at this. <laughs> you did fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Who wants to play? You want to say something to him? You ready? Hi, I'm here with Michael, who's one of the basketball players. I'm very excited to be here today. I'm Nick Fernandez, coming to you from Brooklyn, New York. We are here every Sunday celebrating with McGillan's 15 over all star basketball games. And we are here in celebration of Cancer Awareness Month. So if you have someone that you know has had cancer and triumphed or has passed away, make sure to give a shout out in the comment section and follow us for more content. We are DJ Mario TV. Stay tuned for more.
of Infinite Love, The Pursuit, book series. Happy holidays from DJ Mario TV. Anything about today's All-Star Game? Oh yes, it was a good event and uh, everything went well and, and this is what we do. You know, we give back to the community. Glenn McMillan, All-Star, uh, Castle Wellness. And it's a good thing and uh, we appreciate everything that goes on here. Great. Thanks. You want to give a shout out to any of your family? Oh yeah, I want to give a shout out to my my daughters, my two daughters Monique, my daughter Kania, and I also want to give a shout out to my brother, which he's not here today. He just passed away. Sorry. And you know we miss him. And we love him. Thank you. Thank you. Wave at the camera, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Denise, for filling in. Being in the medical field, some people think that cancer just come about, but people don't understand that it's normal cells that become tumorous and they act in an abnormal way. And that's why it's very important to always go to your physician every six months or a year to run different tests, have your annual physical, make sure that everything is okay because you never know. One little thing can lead to it. It happened to me in 2018. I came home, felt a little time up. I like. Something ain't right. You, know, you have to know your body. You have to know your body. But thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for the, for the information. And, uh, and please, say a word to all our brothers out there. Because I had a father, a grandfather, an uncle, two uncles. Who didn't see the doctor for 10 years. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't come to the disease because they didn't get checked up. So please, what can encourage you work? You see to females and to males, especially our sister African Americans, to take care of themselves. Women here all the time. They don't care enough. And there was someone that I went to high school with, and he said, Do you want to stick with us? So, 
day you can get checked out. If you're taking somebody, set your own appointment. Don't be a part of the statistic and don't let it be a stigma. Very great supporter. I'm sure that you are. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Okay, what's going on with you today? Um, what's going on? We took it. We took it. We went to play hard. We took it. We went Okay, that's fantastic. So exercise and exert your body. How does how does that help you? It helps you a lot. Staying positive and doing what you're supposed to do. Staying on track. Great. So, 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 so we're doing all cancer matters. And this is the cancer awareness. And the October normally is for breast cancer, but it's for everyone. So do you have anyone personally or yourself that you want to share with that may have gone through this? Well, I'm going to reach out to all the people with cancer. My thanks. Well, great. Can you give some encouragement for us to all our brothers out there from ages, say 18 and up, to go to the doctor and have themselves checked out? I mean, I know men have a little pride about themselves. They don't want to be, they want certain bodies to be, certain parts of their bodies to be examined, you know, but how important it is to your health. Can you just kind of give some encouraging words to, to your basketball players, what they need to do to the fitness? Yeah, you feel, if you, talk, you talk to them, talk to them. If you feel them. like something is not right with your, with your body, you got to go in right away, you know. To be feeling good at all times, so, you know, I'm not feeling healthy. I'm gonna have to go get a checkup, you know, and see what's going on. But right now, you're feeling good. You're okay. You're all right. <laughs> okay. Well, I take that. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. If you don't like to eat marshmallow. <laughs> well, you know where I come from, they say real man will paint. <laughs> oh, okay. Paint don't stink. No, it's not nothing. But it definitely stands for something, you know. Yes. There's different colors for different diseases. You know, purple is for pancreas, uh, red is for the heart, and pink is for the, for the um, for cancer. Yes. And it's just a reminder for us to be aware of our own bodies and our own health and to be a support system to other people who have gone through this or is going through this. Yes. Okay, what about yourself? I mean, I don't mean to get into your business, but have you personally or know someone person has gone through the type of cancer situation? Of course, of course. I can't agree with you more. Uh, first and foremost, let me just give honor to God, yes. who's the uh, head of my life. Uh, yes, I am happy to be part of this event. First of all, I want to thank uh, Mario and his team and his event and Glenn McMillan for giving us that opportunity to be here to support cancer awareness. Yes, my mother died from cancer. She had renal cancer. And then my business partner died in 2019 and he had liver cancer. And then my cousin just got diagnosed with breast cancer. So I'm fully aware of that, uh, things that happen to these people. So I pray for them every day here and there. But I just want everybody to know, you know, just stay strong. You know, go to the doctor, check yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Some things you can catch early and sometimes you can see the beat and yes, I definitely. What do you think? This is only, when you're the only person to me. What do you think it is with African Americans? The reason I say that because as scientists go, African Americans and all our brown people tend not to go to the doctor tend, or tend to ignore certain systems. What do you think that is going in their head that they do not want to go to the doctor or, or don't go to the doctor to, to seek out medical help? No, uh, no uh, advice on how to prevent this. Well, I think what happened is a lot of our uh, colored people are afraid to hear bad news. It is what it is. Right. You know, sometimes the body does heal itself, and exactly. some things the body just not gonna heal. Right. You have to go to the doctor and get checked. Right. And most of all, you don't get blood work. Not, you know, check it out. You get a certain age, go for colon cancer. Just you rather know, it, and if you can catch it, this is why they have cancer that come in stages. Right. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. So they're giving you an opportunity. Things do happen. But if you can catch it early, you can immediately become a cancer survivor. 
And I think what happened is there's a lot of new herbs on the, on the market, mm -hmm. and people are taking these herbs and thinking they're doing the right thing. They tell us go back, you know, right. 100 years ago. What they 100 said. years, and there are, you know, Dr. Sir, the, the, the gentleman that passed away that was good with medicine and stuff. Right, right. So people do follow some of these herbs, but, you know, I'm, I'm just a realist, and I believe in doctors, you know. Yeah. And um, I have to go and check myself, so I can stay healthy. Thank God I am today, you know, playing basketball at 57 years old. Oh, wow, and, um, look at that. And I'm happy to be here and running like I'm 27 years old. So it's a blessing to be here. You don't look a day older than 13, really, really and truly. Well, thank you. I mean, they say brat don't crap, but I think that staying healthy, do the right thing. And, and I tell people, I said, when I'm saying these things, I'm preaching to myself. But I like it on my own self sometimes. But um, but what you just said is fantastic. Yes. You know, like, don't be afraid to go to the doctor. Don't be afraid for the news. Because sometimes the news can be great news. Right, right. I mean, if they catch it, and it doesn't mean because you have it. It could be preventable, it could, and it could be treatable, or it could be none of it. Yes, I agree. And I just want to, you know, conclude it by saying thank you for this interview. I really appreciate it. I want to let everyone know, stay healthy, go to the doctor. You know, it's nothing wrong with finding out. And I just want to give honor to God, and I want to say to all the basketball players that was here, try to stay healthy and stay safe. And I must set the record straight. <laughs> they call me the light for a reason. I am the fastest guard in the nation. But at 55 and over. Thank you and God bless. Well, that's great. I don't know all the guards, you know, uh, in basketball, but I'm sure you are. I mean, I'm you, you won't tell a lot. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the beat. <laughs> Keep bringing it. Thank you and Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night for Hey, you got to run. Come on over. Denise is next. Oh. Who got who? Let's go.
She's a tracker, meaning that she's run. And she sung the song today, Lift Every Voice. Are you, are you sung the song Lift Every Voice? Yes. You did. I know you sung from the heart and you, you do. Yes, because this breast cancer awareness is uh, close to my heart. I'm 29 years cancer free. And That's I'm happy to be alive. I'm a DJ, I'm a singer, I'm a social worker, and I'm alive. <laughs> You know what? I think that's the best part about being anything a survivor is being alive and living through it and, um, and then also giving advice to other people. What can you say to women uh, since we are on uh, one of the big subjects for October for breast cancer awareness? What can you say to any and every female what they need to do to prevent this from happening to them? Get tested. Check. Get checked. Get checked out. Go for those checkups and make sure that you don't feel no lumps or whatever. And if you do feel one, get a check out. And also do your own check. And every month, you know, like uh, I have, I work with one physician. He said, just get into the bathroom one day, draw a lot of mirrors, and look at your body. It's your body. Touch it. Feel it. Squeeze it. And therefore, you can find out, like, you know what? This does not feel so right. This don't look the way it used to do. That mold or that spot or whatever. That's when you call the doctor and say, look, I need to be checked out. So well, be lucky if you have a man who can check it out for you. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Two things in one. <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that we met. And I'm glad that we are friends for many years that we have been. You've been a, a, a special person in my life for over the years. You too. You've been my supporter because you helped me that day. <laughs> you too. Because <laughs> I called on you. You know, and so I hope that continues, and I hope and that's another thing too. Uh, uh, it's been a support system for other people. You know, we all need help. You can't do this by yourself. If you think you can, then you know, like no man is an island. That's correct. That is correct. All right. So thank you, Denise, for being here today. Thank you for your song. Please keep singing. Stay alive. And any last words for on Sundays? Yeah. Where you? Yeah. But where you? <laughs> we pop through sometimes. Where's this place? Tonight, Sunday night, every Sunday night. Well, tonight is a gas fee. You know, that 20s, 1920s party tonight. But we're at Essence on Atlantic and Troy. Um, we're there every Sunday night. We start at 9. What's your band? Who, who's we? Uh, it's the band. Um, it's called the Jimmy Hill and the All Stars Band. I've been singing with them for ooh, a lot of maybe 15 years. I lost count. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jimmy Hill and the All Stars Band. And we're there every Sunday night. It's free to come in. Um, if you want to donate, you would like that too. Okay. Yeah, if you like drink, they got some strong drinks there too. Very strong. 
But thank you so much for coming through and being a part of this. Okay. Okay. There you have it folks, this is Michelle Lee of the Diamond Video. And I want to thank DJ Mario TV and everyone else who's come out to support this event today. Continue supporting each other, continue with ex experiencing great health. And the best way you can do that is to tell somebody, the best person you can tell is your physician. Thank you. Oh. One more, make sure you cash me for the, for the birthday party right here for my man DJ Mario, November 8th. I'll be right here in Hexagon. We're gonna have some fun, trust me. Make sure you get here early. It's gonna be a movie in here, it's small, so you better make sure you get in here early. You heard? DJ Blade 24, Instagram. Holla. Move on before you go get paid. So kick up your trucks and throw your hands up and let me hear the party say. So you already know what it is. It's that guy coming to you straight from Harlem. If you want to follow me, find me in any of the antics. My Instagram is I underscore am abundance. Okay. Korea underscore. Make sure you follow me for the next in tune. I got everything you need. And here we are tonight at Hexagon Lounge. Brother Earl is shutting it down. You already know what time it is. I don't ever got my uh, yo. I'm trying to I'm trying to rehearse right now to 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 perform for right here. Like I, I've been missing out on a couple of weeks being here. I think if y'all look at the last tapes, I was here before and I was mad consistent here. But now now I'm here a little bit off and on. I'm trying to make up for it though. You feel me? Like I'm not trying to like you know lollygag or nothing like that though. But I love this place though, man. Come out here to the hexagon. Enjoy yourself. Uh, D R U S I X O W E Drew Six O. Y'all probably gonna need me to enunciate that for you. Feel me? Like, so if you need me to like pronounce that for you, like, or spell it out, it's D R U S I X O W E. Simple. It's not that complicated. You feel me? But I, I got, I got my friend. Yo, I want y'all to see my beautiful friend. Like, yo, come out here. Like, feel me? Like. This is my beautiful friend that I've invited here, like seeing in the interview right here for me. Her name is Like anything you want to say about the place though? Like it's good vibes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I guess that's it though. Yo, thank you. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Regina and I'm watching DJ Mario TV. Hey, hey. Hi. Hey, we got a tall fella here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My five four is like up to your shoulder here. Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Mr. Aaron, aka Old School. Um, first thing first, I want to tell the young black brothers and sisters, get checked out because I had I get checked out every year around October. October. Um, just to let everybody know that I'm cancer free. And my mom, my mom's passed away from cancer. When I was twenty. And I'm 63. And by the grace of God, my brother said three days, I'll be 64. By his grace. Your Libra. Scorpio. Scorpio. Hey, oh my oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what that means. Uh, so, uh, don't worry, I'm Aquarius, so we, we beat all yeah, the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's fantastic. And at your age, still playing basketball, still being physical? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I play basketball and I work. So what inspired you to continue doing this? I started when I played basketball when I was 12. And I had to stop six. Um, as for... I do it for the people. For the kids. So if I can't, if I can do it, you can do it. There you have it. Was you say 60, 61? 63. 63. Sixty. Oh, yeah. I mean, like you said, the 60s is a new 30. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't look at day over 15. You sure don't. <laughs> day over 15. Don't. But I'm so happy that you're here to tell this story. And I'm so happy to hear to be um, living this life. And I'm glad that you are. And I hope that you have another 20, 30, 40, 50 years left to be good. So what is the strongest advice you can give to anyone how to prevent anything from happening to their bodies? Get checked out. No matter what, if it's a broken in your sore feet, get it checked out because it may be diabetes. You understand what I'm saying? If, 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 it's your, if it's your gums, get it checked out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a part of diabetes too. If it's your eyes, get it checked out because that's a part of diabetes. You know, but I'm, I'm here to let you know as a living experience, get checked out. It doesn't hurt. No news, 
is what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, just like in the scripture in the Bible that says that our people die for the lack of knowledge. Exactly. Good, good saying, because that is true. But you don't know, the dumbest questions is the ones that you don't ask. Remember that. That, yeah. that is the dumbest question. If you don't ask, you won't know. Because yeah, I tell all of my patients, I said, bring a grocery list. Sit there with that doctor. That's it. If they're asking 20 questions, that's you it. ask them. That's it. Doesn't it doesn't matter, because that's what he's there for. Yeah, exactly. But um, can I say this off the record? Of course. Mr. Henry checks his stool every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> I look and I observe. I see the no shade that you gave. <laughs> But that's what you're supposed that's to do. You know, it looks different. You know, something's some not right. Exactly. If it's too runny, you know something's not right. Okay. Okay, no. I gotta be honest. You know, that's what it is. I, mean, I know for me, I've been doing that for the last 13 years. You know what I'm saying? Checking my stool. Okay. He's not talking about one you sit on. Come, on, come out. <laughs> but uh, no, as far as men, we need to do that. Yeah. I mean, I got to be honest, because yeah. as men, we, we need to do that. We have to check our stool, yes. because your body will tell you a whole lot. Yes, exactly. Especially your stool. Yep. Okay, amen. Hey. Amen. <laughs> Chris is like, okay, cut that. Cut that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But there you, there you have everybody. Like I said before, you have to check your body, yeah, yeah. know your body, yeah. and, you're, and you definitely know your body. They say knowledge is power, and that's what we have to do. Exactly. Thank you, everyone. This is Michelle Diamond Video, the DJ Mario TV. Thank, Thank you for all your support. Thank you. Oh, okay, it's a few. Yeah, I, I, we, got, we got three different locks. Yo, uh, send, send this video out to my send this video out to my my son out in Ecuador. Listen, uh, finally, finally gave my baby away. There you go, you know it. So again, I finally gave my baby away. Jaye, I love you. I'll be sending a little extra something for your birthday. Uh, peace and blessings. Uh, young man right here, young entrepreneur. And I just want to say, Jaye is in you. So whatever you believe in, believe in yourself always. First and foremost, take care of yourself, Jaye. My prayers are with you every day, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay? And tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> All right, Jair. Peace. Would you like to send a prayer to my son real quick? Yeah, okay, thank you. What's his name? His name is Jair and he lives in Ecuador. Jair, bless you. Out there in Ecuador, uh, my late grandmother, who who's my everything in my life, she always told me this and I'm gonna pass it to you. She said, stay out of trouble and be aware of your surroundings. So always stay out of trouble, always be aware of your surroundings. Peace and blessings and much success to you, Jair. I couldn't say it better myself. All right, thank you guys. And tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> thank you.
Javon, aka Bubbles. Happy holidays for DJ Mario TV. Mwah. <laughs> Good afternoon, Catherine. Hey, what's going on? It's been a while. What's been new since we've seen each other last? Oh, I would say what? May? April? Something May. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's been going on? Uh, well, let's see. I started school. I started taking the IT specialist program. That's, so that's what's up. That's new with me. That's what's up. Congratulations. Started working with new children. Um, it was a lot of fun. How about you? What's new with you? Well, what's new with me is introspection, inner healing. Um, here today, 85 Watkins Avenue in Brooklyn, chilling with the 50 and over tournament basketball crew, and it's an all Cancers Matter event. I see, and is that why you wore this spectacular shirt today? What did yeah. it say? Don't be jealous. Don't be I jealous. This good at 55, 55. Wow. Look, look, get a shot on my bag. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we are here today watching the McGillan's All Game 50 and Over League. Uh, it's so exciting today. Uh, Richard, did you want to say hi to the camera? Hi, guys. Camera, camera, camera. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, Richard, uh, Richard's sticking around here. He's listening to the story. I know that you have a especially special story for us today. You want to tell us what that's about? Well, it's about, you know, my journey with cancer. Uh, right now, I have I have an autoimmune disease. A lot of people don't know that, so they're hanging up for the first time. Sorry, family. And I also have a precancerous condition, which is just as you know, uh, stifling as having a cancerous condition. So when he said it was all cancers event, I said, let me come and talk about all the cancers that are out here. You know, because it's not just cancers on the inside, festering on the inside of the body. It's the cancers that you got to deal with outside of the body so you can feel loved and supported fighting that battle on the inside out. So today I just wanted to bring to the attention of how important it is for, I'm going to say people of color, to go to three specialists. Three. And that's for the brothers and the sisters. That's the urologist, the endocrinologist, and the GI doctor. And that's because a lot of times, you know, we go to our general practitioners, they just take blood and urine and just say, well, your blood is good, your urine is good. But how about what's going on with the stems and the cells? You know, so we got to get into the endocr endocrinologist because that's dealing with the thyroid. And the thyroid controls our body temperature, our eyes, our diabetes, um, our muscles, all, all kinds of stuff. And a lot of people don't know that. So, men, when y'all have women that sound like winding machines, that's because that's about love, dedication, intuition, and higher learning. That means take your behind to those three specialists, I'll say it again, urologist, I'm going to get back to that, endocrinologist, and a GI. The urologist is for the prostate. A lot of brothers today, I mean, you, you fellas out here, y'all run up and down the basketball court. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, I got introduced right here, you know, for the brother that plays basketball with them. And, you know, I had to push him to go to a GI doctor in the beginning of the year. And we found out he had a, a goldfish-sized polyp on his, uh, between his pancreas and small intestine and I had to do operation on him. So, yes, saved his life. Thank you very much. And then, you know, when it comes to the prostate, and I know it's a rectum examination, it's not saying you're gay or, you know, and it's uncomfortable. It's like a bloop bloop examination, but you, you guys need to know. I mean, y'all run up and down the court at 50 and over, 60 and over, y'all look good stuff like that but if your body starts tingling and telling you something else and if your woman that knows you is telling you babe you're not looking good you're not sounding good you know and like I said with the thyroid it controls so many things on our body so do your research and when you go to the GI doctor you know that's colonoscopy that's also rectum examination and then also endoscopy which goes through the mouth so that's you know that's the pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, lungs, heart, everything. So it's so important, pardon me, God, start spitting and carrying on. It's so important for us to follow up. I mean, both men and women. You know, we have our grandchildren out here. You look at them like, hey, they look like us. Well, pour some love into yourself, preventive measures. And one of my preventive measures is coming out here every Sunday watching the basketball players run up and down the court because I have a mundane life, so I'm here on Sundays. I travel, but it's okay. But those three specialists, I'm gonna say it again, it's very important. Endocrinologist, urologist, and the GI. 
It's so important for brothers and sisters to go get checked out and always do your research. It's not just about the blood, it's not just about the urine, but it's about the cells and the stems that we have in our bodies, just like the plants do. Plants will be dying, a little water, a little light, a little singing, and they blossom again. We can do the same thing. So thank you for having me. This is 85 Watkins at the All Cancers Matter with Glenn McMillan, 50 and 60 Tournament Basketball. Thank you. Thank you. And before you head out, I do have a question. You really touched on an important subject that for me struck close to home. Uh, so cancer does run on my father's side of the family and he happens to, oddly enough, be very stubborn about <laughs> going to the clinic, making himself an appointment, making sure that everything's up to date, everything's checked. What would your advice be to someone who is trying to get their father to look after their health and the father is still continuing to make excuses. And I do mean excuses. See, and I understand where his uh, agony, agony comes from, because they'll give you a one o'clock appointment and you're still sitting there at three o'clock. It takes small baby steps. Like, you know, like I just said, say, Papi, Papa, whatever you call him, say, look, here's your grandbaby right here, here's your kid right here, and you're looking right into the same eyes that you have. So don't you want to be here and watch them do what, whatever skill you have, whatever knowledge you have yeah. and be able to share and give and give back you know there you go that's how you know that's how you yeah. have to do it you know you want to make sure that you know your legacy is secure and it's just preventive measures yeah you know especially cancers not just on the inside it's on the outside just Absolutely. make sure you have a lot of love support people who are not just about supply demand and image but about higher learning and and you know intuition and love and dedication that's all i can say thank you so much can i get Yes, of course. It is a pleasure to see you every single day on this earth, specifically every Thank single you. Sunday. Thank, Thank you so much you. for your time. I will be here. Thank, Thank you very everyone. much. That was an amazing interview exclusively here. Every single Sunday we gather up and celebrate each other. It's really important to make sure that you go to the clinic and get yourself checked right. out. It doesn't matter your age. If you don't have insurance, make sure you apply for it so you qualify. And just in general, make sure that you're keeping your family members up to date on what's going on in your health history, whether it be past or present. You want to at least have someone in your circle know what's going on with you. That way they can help you in any way that you can care no, 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 right there by the equipment, right behind that lady with the pink dress on. Right. Put it right on the floor by the chair. Right. Thank you, Ponch. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Yeah, 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 you too, baby. Right. Anything you want to say, Ponch, where you go? Man, hey, this is a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? It was just beautiful today. Anybody came out, we had a good time, and um, just hope we keep, keep doing it. Thank you, Mario. Keep doing it. Thank you, Ponch. All right. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hey, what's up there, Al? A good game, man. That was good. You want to sleep good tonight? Yes, sir. You get some food? I'm going, I'm going my way now to the mess hall and get me some grub. And then I'm going home. It's lights out. That's it. <laughs> you know, appreciate you, man. Appreciate Thank you, love, man. I'll send you that copy, okay? All right. Get your thing out there. Ow! 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 Ow. <laughs> get a gift bag, Al. Al, get a gift bag. Get a gift bag if you like. Where's the food, man? It's up there, make a left. Go up there and make a left. All the way down? Yeah, up the steps up and to the left. Okay. They couldn't bring the food to the gym. No food in the gym, so you gotta go to the gym. No, he, oh, he, 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 he not related to, um... No. Nah, he's not related. No, he's like, no, I wasn't. He's related, he's related to some black man in Africa. Oh, That's yeah? all I can say. Oh, okay. So how much more was it? What brought you out here today? Um, I've always been a part of the community, but this is my school. Oh, this is your school? My school. Okay, your name on a, a track over there? So nah, what do you, what nah. do you, okay, what do you do here at the school? Can't come right nah, I used to be a child. Right 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 oh, okay. Um, good friend of mine is Prince okay. Jackson. Yes, I met her once. Yeah. Fantastic. Jim. Pam. Pam. Great school. I, I thought it was a lady. Mm -hmm. No, no okay. see, the, it's a lady downstairs. Okay. But, um, Greg Jackson upstairs. Okay. BCMS, Brownsville Collaborative Middle School. All right, so what are your position here? Oh, no, 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 I'm not here anymore. I used to be here. Oh, you used to be here? Yeah, I was a para here. Oh, you, a parent? A para. A para. Yeah. Okay, can you explain to the folks what all that means? Um, it's like a teacher's assistant. You know, when you got a one-on-one -on -one with a kid, mm -hmm. you know, he needs a little special attention. Oh, wow. You just help out with the in the room. Right, we definitely need that always. So what are you doing nowadays? Oh, um, a little bit of everything. You made Glenn disappear. He didn't want to be on camera in the first place. So that's what he that's did. What, I know, that's, that's what, what he, he did. did right? Lit. But yeah, like, um, 
You know, I came up under the Brownfield Jets, and um, I always was around playing as a young kid. They always put on great basketball tournaments. I just wanted to be a part of the community. Yeah. He told us a great story a long time ago, how he was a kid that he would sneak out of home, out of school, to go play basketball at the AJ's part. You know about that? Yes, I do. You did it with him? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm way younger than him. Oh, okay. I, I just used to look up and watch. Oh, okay. great. Great person. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a cancer awareness um, today. So anything personal you want to share that you may know, either you want to share yourself about yourself or a friend or family? No, both my aunts um, fight, was fighting cancer. They both beat cancer. They still survive. Amen. So, yes, yeah. that's, that's fantastic. So what information or what encouraging word do you give to young men, older men or whatever, oh. you want to, what do you need to do to prevent this horrible disease? Take care of your body. Go get your checkups regularly. Don't be afraid to uh, ask questions and do the research. And I think the main thing too is to share with each other because people think they're going through it by themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, they think that they're the only one that have it or doing it. But I think that if you're able to open up and say, you know what, I did this, this happened to me, and someone can say, yeah, it happened to me too, then you can right. share different answers, mm -hmm. antidotes for what, mm -hmm. what to do about it. Yeah, share. Um, open your heart because like you said somebody's going through the same thing there you go well, I'm so happy that you're also survivors I'm a survivor and we've met a couple of people here today survivors and, and I think that the basketball game that's going on is really helping mentally emotionally and spiritually for all the guys that's doing this that's right that's right are you a basketball player? I used to oh you don't do it no more? why? what happened? knees are bad oh <laughs> Okay. Anyway, it's right to the camera. Tell everyone how out there and take care of yourselves. Be good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you again. Thank you once again for being out here. If you need anyone to come to your event like we're doing here today, give us a call. Give us a shout out. DJ Mary TV Diamond Video 347-962-7071. Anytime, any place, anywhere. And thank you for being the supporters of all of us, of us all of these years. Thank you. Happy holidays from DJ Mario TV.